World War II, enemy aircraft are having a devastating effect on ships at sea. There's difficulty making accurate calculations to set conventional fuses, as forces struggle to hit fast-moving targets. The Navy desperately needs a more effective way to shoot down attacking planes. So they turn to a group of scientists and engineers to solve this critical challenge. The breakthrough that would help turn the tide of the war came together in an unassuming building in Silver Spring, Maryland. Home to the newly formed Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Just months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, APL was established to complete development and fielding of a game-changing technology. The Radio Proximity Fuse. Mechanical fusing had proven to be ineffective. So the challenge was to create a fuse that could determine when it was close enough to its target and detonate. Starting from an unproven British circuit concept, the men and women of APL worked tirelessly to perfect a small, self-powered radio transceiver fuse. One that could withstand the pressure of being fired and reliably explode in close proximity to a fast-moving enemy plane. Not an easy task, given the delicate parts and technology of the 1940s. Early models, using a dry cell battery, had high fail rates, so engineers incorporated an ingenious liquid battery design to power the miniaturized electronics. APL's total involvement was substantial, from development to production and fielding, and combat use. And almost immediately, the little fuse produced enormous results significantly reducing the number of rounds to down enemy aircraft, helping change the course of history. By the war's end, APL had crafted fuses for a variety of munitions, with well over 20 million manufactured for U.S. and Allied forces. It dramatically increased the effectiveness of naval air defenses, making it one of the most important developments of the war. The Radio Proximity Fuse, a truly defining innovation that serves as the foundation of the Applied Physics Laboratory's long-standing tradition of trusted service to the nation.